Valentine's Day. Yet another pet hate of mine. Yep, it does seem like I don't like anything. Well, I do. I like the other 364 days in the year. Just not Valentine's Day. Hmm? Over commercialized rubbish. What a fantastic way to remind you that you're single. Ooh. Ah. Uh, ooh. So cute. Squeeze of cheeks. Oh. Oh. Don't worry, baby. They've got nothing on us. <laughs> Valentine's Day. Just it shouldn't be there. The calendar should go February 12th, February 13th, Feb. February 15th. Just skip through it. It doesn't matter. Actually, it's just like any other day. This year, I do believe it's on a Tuesday. Happy Tuesday! I don't get it. Why would you like Valentine's Day? It's so expensive. Like, really expensive. But Dan, it's meant to be romantic and spouses meant to enjoy themselves. It's meant to be really fun and happy and cute. <laughs> Stop it. Just take her out the day before or the day afterwards. You know what I do? I put my phone on flight mode. Sorry, love. My phone was off. I didn't know it was Valentine's Day. Oh, we booked a table for a restaurant. Oh, no. Oh, looks like we'll have to go the following day when it's cheaper. One thing that is symbolic of Valentine's Day is the Cupid. What is creepier than a Cupid? It's a chubby baby with angel wings and a bow and arrow. What? Couples, according to Roman mythology, if you're going on your first date, there is going to be a Cupid sat in the same restaurant as you, watching you, waiting to fire a stupid bow. How weird is that? Huh? Another thing that is symbolic of Valentine's Day is the rose. Roses traditionally represent passion and love and heartfelt feeling and emotion. But let's be honest, who wants a rose? Have you seen the spikes on those things? Look at them thorns! You may as well be handing your spouse barbed wire. See how much they love you then, hmm? Just do it, come on. Barbed wire, my dear. But no, when it comes to Valentine's Day, the shops don't normally sell roses with thorns. Instead, they're artificial. Yes, people, your spouses don't obviously think you're worthy of real thorny roses. Else, they will be scavenging across the land trying to find the secret hideouts of the real thorny roses. Think about that. You know what? I don't need anyone. I am an independent white British male. All I need is a cup of tea, a scone, my sloth, and a tube of Pringles. Sorted. Now, most people have their own Valentine's Day story. To finish this video off, I'm going to share my Valentine's Day story. Back in year five, when I was about nine or ten years old, there was a girl in my class at primary school who I really, really liked. Long story short, my mother was really annoying and she persisted in saying, Dan, if you don't go and tell her that you like her, then she's never going to find out and then she's going to move away and, and you'll just never know what could have happened. So she took me to Waitrose to buy the finest chocolates possible. We also bought a very expensive card, probably like a pound or something. It wasn't really that expensive. She found out her address in the least dorky way possible. Kind of weird when I think about it. And she drove me around to her house. She said, Dan, you've got to get out of the car and give her the gift. I said, no, never. This was not my idea, mother. So she got out of the car. She went and knocked on the door. Turns out the girl was an inn, which is amazing. That is a godsend. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. So she posted them, which meant that the girl received the chocolates and the card. I kid you not, six months later, the girl moved to Dubai, which is a long, long way away. Now, I'm not actually bothered by this story anymore. I wasn't really bothered for a while after that. I couldn't care less now, but it's funny, and I thought I'd share it with you. And the girl who it is, I do have on Facebook, and if she ever sees this video, then she's probably gonna know it's her. I just don't get why Valentine's Day is a big thing in this country. It's a big thing all over the world. I, 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 I just don't get that. Saint Valentine was a martyred Christian. He was killed. Why are we not just killing each other then as celebration of Valentine's Day? Because he was killed. It just needs to stop. I'm never gonna be able to stop it. I just don't like it. And I'm pretty sure that some of the people watching this now don't like it either. But but that's all I'm going to say about Valentine's Day because if I say anymore, I'm probably going to lose my rag and then I'm going to go crazy and then I won't be able to carry on with this video because it'll just start to become a slur of words and... <clears throat> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop now. I am not even fired up enough to throw my sloth, but I'm going to do it anyway, just for the sake of this. Here he goes. My true love. Goodbye.